Okay, cut your box. 101. Where's my light? I don't know what I did with my light. There it is. Cut your box 101. So, what's happening is that I make the decision that I'm going to share how I teach my classes to everybody that is interested to these videos on my channel. So, there are many things. So, as we start today, I'm just going to break through what the different types of teachings that you find in cardio box and, and the type that I'm using so that you you are able to to differentiate between the two. So the first one is there is the type of cardio box that is taught by guys that looks like that is shaped like high low and step. What do I mean by that? I mean it's a 32 count cardio box you do these movements and then you start uh, building something, changing them, as in like layering them to look differently, meaning building into an advanced stage from basic or beginner level and build something like that. There is that type of a cardio box. It's mainly done by guys who are teaching in marathons and some gyms now already, there are guys who are doing it like that as well. I'm never going to say anything whether it's wrong or it's right or anything. I don't think it's wrong. I just think it's different than what I was taught when I started and 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 it's different than how I do it. So that one is mainly it looks like aerobics. There is that type of a cardio box class where where people teach like that. And then there is this type that we teach, we, uh, the hour type. <laughs> By hour, I mean the one that I do. That one is different from that one, that the one I just explained. This one is more almost like functional training or a shape class, where you bring exercises for people to do for a number of times. Still build combos, but shorter combos. But the main thing is if I give you a particular movement, you should be doing it for a number of times, you know, eight times, 16 times, 32 times, based on how you shaped your class. So that one is different from the other one. So it means that you can either choose to teach both sides or you can teach one side. Usually I build about three combinations in each class or I have three different zones of training, right? So you will find that maybe we will start by teaching a 4 count, then 8 count, 16 count move and then maybe on one side, then have a movement in the middle that takes us to the other side, yeah, well, that was one of my make moves. Then we do the left, same movement, same number of times, which is more or less how you train when you go to a Muay Thai club, uh, I'm not sure karate, I'll talk about Muay Thai. Where they give you exercises to do, you are going to do 300 kicks, roundhouse, you do them, you, or you do 50, then your partner does 50, you do left, you do right, you know, like that. It's exactly the same, it's just that the difference now, this one is built according to music and you're making people to do those things. So this one, the aim is not just to have fun, the aim is to work out, do a couple of reps, a couple of so much type of like a number of exercises that must be done and and and, and yes we also use music interpretation and everything else it's very tough a lot of people that a lot of people can't take it because it's very tough it's very it's very challenging but the benefits are amazing if you do it right also because the music is a little bit slower than the other one because automatically when you teach like that you want people to fully do the technique then you, that's when now you get to you get your people to to, to to focus you focus on the technique how these movements are done and everything else so th those are the two types of cardio box that you get so in today's uh, 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 cardio box 101 episode which i think this is episode one I'm going to go through the entire structure of the class that i teach uh, without going that deep into each and every one of the movements. So the structure is as follows. You will first have your, your warm-up. I'm just going to pass the introduction and everything. 
you've got your warm up. You know, warm up. You start with uh, 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 your your dynamic stretches. You know, you you work transverse. You work sagittal. You work uh, uh, um, coronal. You know, work coronal. You you try to work in all the planes. You try to work the upper body and the lower body so that you, the person is warm. Usually, an instructor will create a movement, one routine that can take you to all these directions. That can take you to the right, take you to the left, take you to the front, take you to the back, you know, and then also include the legs. That way, you are able to say, okay, sharp now, my people are warm. You get me? Then after that warm up, you start now with the session. Usually the warm up can be about 32 counts move, and then and then the move will deal with the things that you need when the people are training. Then you get to to the exercises. So the exercises will always either start with a four count move or with an eight count move, maybe on the right. Yeah, always on the right. So maybe to build this, you can take about three movements. Do the first layer, second layer. So the first layer you do it, they do it 16 times or for two blocks or four blocks, depending on how hard you want the class to be. The second layer they do it with the same number of at the same number of times. Third layer they do it at the same number of times. Now before you go to the other side, you can either have a jumping jack, you can have a knee lift with the right because the movement is on the right and then you go automatically that move takes you to the other side you do the same things that you do, did on the side with the same number of times right then when you finish you come back to the right by doing the same thing that you did to go to the other side now you've got the first combo be it you combined it or you didn't combine it but you gave them three different types of exercises they did them a certain number of times then they get to the movement transition movement that takes them to the other side and then when they get to the other side they do the the same movement with the left and then they come back to the right so then maybe you go to the second you go to the second movement after that the second movement we you decide to build it so there are usually two ways in which i would build a movement i would use a link method meaning i teach movement a then I teach movement B, and then I teach, I combine movement A and B, you get me? So movement A, then movement B, then I combine the two movements to make one movement. Then when I'm, after I'm done with that, maybe I can now, after I've combined, then I can add a kick, and then I move to the other side. The same way I moved with that movement, I build again on the other side. And then after I'm done building on the other side, I, I, I combine the same way, then I come back to the right. You get me? I don't know if, if this is clear enough. Uh, I think that is going to work better if I do it in a video, but it's always nice to explain this so that people understand uh, how the class is structured. Then I'll have the third movement. After the third movement, the class is, is almost done, and I can do the same thing on the third movement. Then after that, I take one of the two move, three movements that I've done, I combine them at the end of the class to make one uh, movement to create the finale where it will go both sides now. So from the right to the left, to the left, come back. Then the class is over, people will stretch and they go home. So that's that's a very basic uh, structure of, of the class that I teach. So I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to write this down and, 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 and share it on this video so that you can see the structure those people who are interested. I think I need to take this. Hello? So so that's that's basically it guys. Uh, I don't remember where I was now, I have to go back. Uh, so that's the structure of the class. And then that's the structure I'm going to teach uh, for the upcoming videos where I'll be sharing exactly how I do it uh, zone by zone. Like we start with the warm up, break it down, break it down, how I do it, move on to the, the glass itself uh, as I just explained. 
Then from there we are going to go into the music. How do I use the music uh, in order for this whole thing that we spoke about to fit, for it to make sense, for it for people to be able to feel as if they are re re reacting to the music. Because for this to work nicely, it needs to correspond very well with the music. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work in terms of. Uh, making sure that everything fits perfectly and then another thing is that we're going to go through teach each other technique how these movements are done we are going to teach each other how each movement is introduced because you don't just introduce the movement there is a particular way in which you flow in when you're introducing a movement to the people the energy that is needed and all those things so that is why we are still in the conversation even though we teach something that is considered outdated by some people because there is a lot inside this is like a classic album there is a lot inside this there is a lot to explore there is a lot that is different and people actually work out and they get to enjoy if you love working out you get to enjoy the classes so yeah that's 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 basically what Cardio Box 101 is all about. Then from there we're going to move on and talk about communication, how to communicate, how to keep your class moving, uh, how to keep the stage presence and, and all those other things. We, we're going to have a whole lot. It's going to be like a course. It's like a course that we're doing, but once a day in each week we will do something and then go and practice. So today was basically just an introduction. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't write this down. Uh, it's something that sticks here. But my aim is not to write this down, this presentation. I just want it to come from my head and just deliver it as raw as possible. And and uh, maybe I may not be a very good speaker. But when it comes to the knowledge that I'm going to share, it's something that I've been doing for the past 11 years. So there should be some, there's experience here. There is a lot also of knowledge that uh, I was trained earlier and also knowledge that I've accumulated over time. And then another thing is that when we go to the classes, when we go forward, we will be doing different types of techniques. We will keep the kicks basic because it's easier to injure your hips when you're doing all this kind of kicks. So I'm still keeping my kicks basic, front kicks on the sagittal plane, but the rest of the other movement, meaning the punches, because it's not that difficult, it's, it's, it's really easier to learn punches, to learn hooks, to learn uppercuts, all different types of upper, uppercuts, to learn jabs and crosses. Those are the things that we're going to use to keep our class more and more interesting, more boxing, more Muay Thai, uh, more kickboxing based, less or no dance, actually no dance altogether, just punches, knees, kicks, and just fighting movements. And, and that's how we, we, we're going to talk about it. And everyone that comes here, if they are interested in learning that side of teaching, then that this is the right channel. But if you want to add dance and everything, this is not the right channel for you. I, would, I can promise you that it's going to bore you. I would suggest to find another channel or another space where they will be teaching those kind of things, right? However, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Maybe I'll decide in the future if I want to share what I know about what the other guys are doing, right? Yes, guys, on that note, Cardio Box 101, my name is MZ. Please subscribe, like, and share. Let's start this journey. Peace.